Okay, I've been having some problems all of a sudden. I had the four-wheel drive system on, and then today I noticed this as I drove off. Four-wheel drive was already on. I'm stuck in four-wheel drive high. I thought maybe I did something with the system yesterday. I don't know what. Maybe I knew I had it on sometimes when I turned the wheel, even though it was on a gravel road. And then I opened the hood and I found a critter underneath. I don't know if he's still there. I need to show you this. I'm concerned that the critter may have eaten into something. Oh man. I have a 2016, like fifth generation Toyota, Toyota Tacoma. Let me get a glove on my hand. Now I can tell you there's a critter in here. I just don't know where. So I saw it looking up at me. There it is. Right in there. And I'm concerned it may have chewed something. Some kind of wire messed something up. But it needs to get out of here. It needs to not live in here anymore. Anybody ever have this? Let me know. And I don't know what to do. I've got my breaker bar. It's about all I can think of. It's gonna kind of shoo them out. You gotta come out, come on. Come on, out. 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 Did it get out? I think it's underneath. Shut my door so it doesn't get inside the vehicle. Oh, it's right in here. I see it in the front. It's holed up. You gotta come out, man. Come on out. See. Scared to death, I'm sure. Just gotta get it out of there. Come on out. I damaged my truck with this thing. I gotta find something else now. Well, now I'm concerned it may have eaten something. Some kind of wiring. And there's the tail. Right down there. You see? I'm gonna try disconnecting this, see if it resets the problem. Maybe this animal did something last night. But either way, I gotta make sure it's dropped off somewhere other than where it got into my truck, because it's just gonna get right back in. So pull this off, let it remain disconnected for like 30 seconds or so. For now, let's reconnect. We'll drive around again. I just don't want to drive back and deposit him back where he was, or she was. Sounds like I heard some movement under there still. I think what I'm gonna to try to do is just leave the hood open and hope it just runs out when I'm not around. Okay, I don't see any evidence of where it was now. Maybe it's not there. Okay, I don't see it, and already I see evidence of wire tampering right here. You see that? I don't know if it's supposed to have one or two wires come out of it, but that's not supposed to connect like that. Right next to the battery. Okay, I'm back. Just kind of tapping around with my foot now, listening for any movement like before. I think the animal's gone. 
But I'm noticing more damage now too. I look in here, look at this. Must have been burrowing right up in here. There's some damage there, that's gonna be repaired. I don't know if I'm gonna have to get new wires or if I can just do a little surgery with the battery disconnected. Tape, some electrical tape, taping these wires up. You know, hopefully that, hopefully that can do it. It'd be a lot better if I can do that. It may even affect the headlight working, I don't know. I'm not gonna even try it now. So I'm to make sure this animal's gone first, first step. I also advise don't let the animal out on your own property where it's normally parked because it'll just come back potentially is, is the real issue. You can see this is the issue I've got here with the lights. These are the lights. I think I don't have any ABS. I cannot switch anything, any four wheel drive mode. All four wheel drive modes are disabled and I'm guessing I don't have any traction control. probably just from disconnecting the wires, I hope. I hope it's that simple. I have to swing every turn extremely wide right now because that front just wants to bind. Okay, I've heard noise in here just now driving. I've been driving all day. Look, the animal's still in there. Can you see that? I'm trying to see if I can blow it out with the blower. Well, the day is over and I have a feeling, I couldn't tell from that video that you just saw, that the groundhog went into the woods and is gone. And hopefully it didn't try to stay in the truck. I didn't get any sense that it was with me when I was driving uh, the remainder of the day. In fact, if you remember when I kicked, there was always some kind of reaction. And I don't feel any reaction I didn't get any sense that there's anything under the truck. I was concerned about it being in other places in the truck. But uh, you can see I have a shipping container behind me. It's possible that the groundhog was living underneath there and then came up here to make this its home in here. So I'm going to keep the truck parked away from that now. Uh, hopefully prevent that. We checked for holes around here. We didn't see any holes for groundhogs. And if the groundhog got away, as you saw, it's probably the most humane way to handle it. Because as you saw, it did not want to go at all. And the, one of the worst things to do would be to try to release it right here, even though I know that if, if it had a nest, it, it's lost the nest now. And I really don't know. I mean, I don't think there's any nest in the truck, so I don't know what happened. But if I released it here, it would have come right back to the truck, most likely, unfortunately. I'm going to put something inside the truck so that I can monitor what's going on and be sure that all the rodents, groundhogs, whatnot, are gone and are not spending any time in here before I get the wiring repaired because otherwise it's just going to cause more problems that need repair. So I will update in a future video. It's crazy to think that a groundhog that big was living here in this little hole in the headlights and also over here and has done damage to the wiring. You know, those claws, man, those are some claws. I left them mark on the side of the truck too. You can see, remember the, the groundhog went through here and there's a big scrape here on the paint. If you can see, you see it's a claw scrape right down there. And of course the damage to the wiring I noticed earlier, which is probably causing the idiot lights, malfunction lights to come on. Who knows if there's other damage. Those claws are sharp and I don't, maybe they, they, the animal didn't even bite them. Maybe it was just the claws. If this is right through the pass through here to the headlight. I'm gonna have to inspect, but again, I'm gonna put some probably tissue, some real light things in here and some Possibly uh, mouse poison or something like that. I don't even know if I even have anything or a trap. Something so that I can see 
if animals are coming through here and disturbing the st still. And uh, check that out next time I'm here. So something like this, we'll see what it looks like when they get back. Wow. So with the rain, you in that area, you'll come home?